to the Paper Crafters Library and Sunny Stampin' Studios. In this video, I want to show you another fun product we brought into the Sunny Stampin' store at the same time we brought in the trendy test tubes I showed you last week, this square plastic bottle that you see in the project here. Now, I'm going to share a video tutorial on how I decorated the bottle, and then I'm going to tell you how you can enter to win a set of six of these adorable little bottles. First off, let me show you the bottles themselves. They're made out of a clear plastic, as you can see here, and they're square in shape. So they're one and a half inches by one and a half inches. And the height is about four inches. Now in terms of how much they hold, they have a volume of four ounces. As with the test tubes, they have a screw on cap, which is aluminum, and you can see on the inside that it's lined. Now we sell these bottles in the Sunny Stampin' store for $2.25 Canadian each, plus shipping and we do ship them internationally. Now when I first saw these bottles I thought they were so much fun because there's so much you can do with them. You can use them for storage of small items in your craft studio, in your kitchen even, or you can incorporate them into a variety of awesome projects like the ones I'm going to show you. So here's a quick tutorial for you showing you how quick and easy it is to decorate just one bottle and create a cute little present, another project that would be great for a table favor this holiday season. So I've already gone ahead and filled my bottle with these candy cane Hershey Kisses and I chose a piece of pattern paper that follows along with that same candy cane theme. So you can see it has these cute little candy canes all over it. Now this piece of pattern paper is two by six and a quarter. I'm going to take my red liner tape which is a super sticky double sided tape, very strong, and I'm going to place it along either end and then one piece that goes directly down the center. So I'm going to now take the center um, piece of red liner tape and take off the red backing. I'm then going to take this and I'm going to position it onto one side of my bottle and center it between the, I'm looking at this portion of the bottle, not the neck, but I'm going to center it on this side of the bottle and then press it down so that the red liner tape sticks to the bottle. I'm then going to take both the ends and wrap it around. So I'm going to take the red liner tape off of one of the ends and as I wrap this around snugly I'm going to press that red liner tape to the bottle so it's held in place. So now my last step is to take the red backing off of the remaining piece of red liner tape and then as I wrap this around the bottle I do want to make sure that the ends of my bottle or that the edges of my paper are aligned. And there you can see how easy it is to create this little sleeve around the bottle. Now I decided to keep the decoration for the front of my bottle quite simple. I started by die cutting a snowflake out of vanilla cardstock using my Spellbinders Create a Flake 3 die set. And this was the die that I cut and embossed with my Spellbinders Grand Caliber. I then lay it on a piece of wax paper and I pat this essential glue pad from Sukineko all over it. And what that did was leave an even coat of adhesive onto my cardstock snowflake. I then sprinkled it with some Martha Stewart Crystal Fine Glitter to give it the beautiful shimmer you see here. I had bought a little while ago a bottle of different sized rhinestones from Michaels. Actually it came in a bag and it was a whole bunch of them. And I chose a rhinestone to fit in the center of the snowflake. Now this is just a regular rhinestone, it does not have an adhesive backing. So I have a hot glue gun that I have been uh, set, setting on the high temperature and I'm just squeezing a very little bit of glue in the center of my snowflake and then placing my rhinestone directly on top and then gently pressing it down. So you can see what that now looks like. So for my bottle, I'm then going to take my bottle and here you can see the side with my seam, that's the back of my bottle. So here I'm looking at the front and I'm going to take my snowflake, use a dab of my hot glue again, just right in the center, and then place my snowflake directly over that glue. And then that will hold my snowflake in place on the front of my bottle. So for the top of my bottle, 
I punched out a 1 and 3 8 inch circle out of vanilla cardstock using my circle punch and then I covered it in glitter in the same way as I did for my snowflake. I'm going to adhere it to the top of my bottle using hot glue. And as you saw, I just put the hot glue more in the center. I didn't bring it too close to the edges so that when I put my circle on top of it, I can press it down into the glue. I then punched another circle out of a scrap of the same piece of candy cane pattern paper. Now I punched the circle quite a bit smaller. This is a 1 and 1 8 of an inch circle versus the 1 and 3 8 inch so that I could still see enough of the glittered vanilla border. And I'm then going to take my hot glue gun place a dollop of that in the center and then press my candy cane pattern circle right into the hot glue. So you can see I've now decorated the top of the bottle. I have the red to tie in with the red and then the glittered vanilla to tie in with the glittered vanilla. So I've gone ahead and created this little tag. I stamped the Merry Greeting, and this is from the Stampin' Up! Tiny Tag stamp set, onto a scrap of my vanilla cardstock. I then punched it out using Stampin' Up!'s Jewelry Tag Punch. The last thing I did was to punch a little hole at the end of the tag using my 1 16th of an inch handheld circle punch. So I'm going to take a piece of silver cord and this was just a scrap piece I had in my bin, so it's longer than what I actually need. You'd probably need maybe about a 12 inch piece, 10 to 12 inch piece. And I'm threading it through my silver cord, so you can see it's just hanging loose. And I'm keeping it close to my bottle because I'm going to be tying it into the ribbon that I'm going to be decorating the neck of the bottle with. So here I have some Stampin' Up! Um, this is vanilla uh, velvet ribbon with this really pretty satin edge, stitch satin edge. And I'm going to take that, bring it around the back of the bottle, and I want to make sure that it's placed around the neck of the bottle. And then I'm going to start by very loosely tying a half knot. Then I'm going to take my silver cord, and I'm going to take the end of it and just feed it through where this half knot is going to be. And then I'm just going to finish tying that half knot like so. So as you can see here, my silver cord with my little hanging tag is being held in place by this half knot. So my next step is to take my vanilla velvet ribbon and I'm going to tie it in a bow. And to do that, I'm just going to create two little bunny ears, like when you were learning to tie your shoes, and cross it over. And I'm, I'm making sure that the velvet sides are facing outwards. And then when you actually tie your bow, you're going to need to adjust it and play with the ends a little bit to get it to lie where you want it to. So once you've tied your bow and adjusted your ends, you can then take your silver cord and you want to slide it so that the Mary tag is just going to be hanging down underneath the knot of the bow. So I'm just going to take my cord and tie it now in a bow around the center knot of the ribbon bow. So then once you've tied your silver cord in a bow, the next step is just to trim off the ends of the cord and then trim off the ends of the ribbon. And I've left the ends of the silver cord hanging a little bit longer than the ends of my ribbon. So there you can see our project is now finished. Here's an example of another project I've made with the bottles. This time a holder that will fit two bottles. So here you can see what it looks like from the front and then you can see what it looks like from the side, how it wraps around the two bottles. It's held closed by these two brads, so to get at the contents, you simply close the prongs of the brads, and then you remove them, and then the front cover folds down, 
so that this is what it looks like on the inside. You've got this cute little belly band, but then you can still see the bottle and the treats inside above and below this belly band. And then to close it, you just fold it up again and then you hold it closed using these little brads. Now I have a video tutorial for this project available in our video library for our Paper Crafters Library members. Now if you've never heard of Paper Crafters Library, then you'll definitely want to check it out. It's the most comprehensive library of paper crafting video tutorials currently on the web. We have over 700 videos and we add four to five videos every week. These videos range from the absolute beginner to the advanced paper crafter. We have tons of technique videos as well as completed projects such as cards, scrapbooks, mini albums, 3D items and gifts, altered art, and even some mixed media. If you visit our blog, and then click on the video library link at the top, you can see exactly what we have in the library, as well as check out some of our free videos, of which we have quite a few. Okay, so last thing for this video, how do you enter to win the set of six bottles that you see shown here? Well, all you have to do is visit our blog and leave us a comment in the comment section of the post that you see here. Now, if you're watching this video from somewhere other than our blog, in the video description section, you'll see a link that will take you directly to this post. Winners will be announced in the next Freebie Friday post, which is Friday, December the 16th. See you on the blog.